Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be testing out the brand new bell tensioner system from FX. There's a lot of different opinions about the bell tensioner system already. Some say that it's a load of crap, some say that it's just for FX to make money, and some say that it's like the leap of the century. So I decided to take the matter into my own hands and start uh, testing the bell tensioner system on my Impact uh, M3 in the 177 caliber. I was shooting the 13 grain sands, so pretty excited to see how this test would go. I started the test in my backyard at uh, 34 meters and I immediately noticed that uh, the sound is very different when you're shooting the bell tensioner system uh, and I'll go so far as to say it's not backyard friendly when you're using this. Uh, my neighbor noticed it uh, immediately and uh, I was actually a bit embarrassed but anyway the accuracy in my backyard was uh, pretty promising so I decided to take it into the forest and start testing at 75 meters or 82 yards. My gun is set up pretty standard, uh, there's not much changed uh, and I'm actually shooting the 600 millimeter liner and for those of you who's done your homework you'll know that uh, the bell tensioner system is made for 700 millimeter liners but since I've had so much trouble with uh, my spread on the 700 millimeter, uh, millimeter liner I've decided to change it uh, to the 600 and only shoot this so of course this means that uh, I've cut this down by 10 centimeters and if you're considering doing this yourself you should be sure to have the right tools to do it because you don't want this uh, to be inaccurate. So starting out the test uh, here in the forest I decided to shoot 10 groups uh, with 5 shots each and then after the test take away the 5 worst groups and take the average of the 5 best. And the result of uh, the first test with the, the full barrel tensioner system mounted, the results were like this. An average group size of 26.8 millimeters and the best group at uh, 22. Here I'll show you um, all the targets that I shot. And as you can see, the five best groups were between 22 millimeters and 29 and the biggest group that I shot in uh, this test was a 32 millimeter group. So, not all that impressed because uh, usually uh, my groups uh, are a bit better uh, when I'm shooting at uh, 75 meters. So I thought, hmm, what to do? So I remember this uh, bell tensioner system that uh, Ernest Rowe made, uh, but now we have this uh, this clamp for the barrel and uh, I left that on, took out uh, the carbon fiber piece here and um, cut out a piece at uh, 2.1 centimeter and slided that over the barrel uh, onto, um, onto the clamp and then mounted the original shroud. So actually still having a tensioned barrel, I decided to uh, make another test and it went like this. So this is uh, option number two and immediately uh, I had um, a, some better groups. The average size was, uh, like you can see it here, 21 millimeters of the best, best five uh, groups and the best group that I shot was a 17 millimeter group, which is uh, of course a lot better. I'll show you all the groups here and the best five groups were between 23 and uh, the 17 millimeters and the biggest group that I shot was at uh, 29. So once again not all that uh, impressed by uh, by the bell tensioner system I decided to uh, actually uh, not tension the barrel at all so I removed uh, this piece and I just uh, mounted the shroud as you do normally. Uh, I kept this barrel clamp because uh, it might have a positive effect and once again I shot 10 groups, took the five best ones and this is option number three. And there was an increase uh, in accuracy on, uh, on this option so uh, it had an average of 18.8 millimeters and uh, once again the best group was at, uh, at 17 millimeters. I'll show you uh, all the, 
targets right here. And as you can see, the five best groups were between 17 and uh, 21 millimeters. And the, the biggest group that I shot uh, with this option was uh, 27 millimeters. So the best uh, group was at 17 and uh, the biggest group was at uh, 27. So already there, it was uh, much, much better. So the only test that of course I needed to do here at the end was just with the gun completely standard. And I just uh, did this today. So uh, nothing uh, barrel tension, not the clamp, just uh, the standard gun uh, with a 600 millimeter liner. And this is option number four. And this had an average of 15.4 millimeters. And the best group are you looking at right now, it's an 11 millimeter group. Let me show you uh, all the targets here. I actually uh, missed uh, one. Uh, I thought that I had 10, but I only had, uh, had nine. The uh, best group was 11 millimeters and the biggest was uh, 18. And the biggest group was at uh, 33. So that leaves me uh, with a conclusion. I will not be mounting the bell tensioner system uh, on my gun again unless uh, there's a slug liner coming out in uh, 700 millimeter liners that uh, that I would test uh, with uh, a barrel tensioner. Did I expect uh, more from the barrel tensioner system? Yes, I honestly did. But uh, I also went to uh, FX uh, USA's uh, homepage and I saw the description of the barrel tensioner system. And it actually says that if you're shooting a smaller caliber, which the 177 is, and a lighter uh, piece of uh, ammunition, which the 13 uh, grain sand is, you should not uh, expect it to have uh, any uh, effect on your accuracy. But I will say that I expected it to uh, at least make me keep uh, the accuracy uh, from the, the standard setup. But uh, that wasn't the case. So uh, as for now, I'm uh, putting the barrel tensioner system back in the closet. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's see when I, when I take it out again. Uh, the thing is, uh, these uh, carbon fiber uh, pieces you can buy on, uh, on eBay. So you can cut it down to uh, any length uh, you want to so that you have both uh, a tensioner system for 800, uh, 700, uh, 600 and 500 and even shorter if you want to. So um, it's not like you've destroyed the whole thing if, uh, if you cut it down. So that's the conclusion uh, of this test. I'm not going to shoot the barrel tensioner system again. I'm going to keep my gun completely standard and enjoy shooting uh, groups at uh, 11 millimeters here at uh, 75 meters. And before I wrap up this, this video, once again, I would like to make a commercial for a Facebook group called uh, FX177 Owners. Uh, I'm administrator there. It's not my group, uh, but it's just a, a, a group uh, where people shooting the 177s can share information and experiences. So uh, please go and apply for membership in that group. So with that said, that's the end of the test of the bell tensioner system from FX. And until next time, take care and shoot safe.